Bill Haskins with Coldwell Banker in the studio. Hey, Bill, how's it going? Good morning, Rob. How are you? Doing good. So Coldwell Banker, we we were just talking about you have have had some people uh, respond to the to the radio ads about uh, becoming a real estate agent, and and one has now gone through the whole process, right? Yeah, you know, we it's it's kind of interesting. Uh, she's probably driving her on her way in this morning up to our sales meeting, so she might get to hear herself. Uh, <laughs> but uh, Anna Hawkins, uh, you know, we have been having this on the radio, what, for six months now, I probably. guess? Probably. About six months, talking about, you know, who wanted to be the next real estate star, and we had... Uh, Anna Hawkins called me off the radio ad. We uh, sat down and talked. Um, she decided she wanted to start her new career in real estate. You know, we have a school that we use um, that uh, will help walk her through. It's 150 hours of education that they have to take prior to taking their exam. Um, she took her exam on Saturday and passed. Right. And um, so now we... Uh, you know, we get to uh, sign her up, and she's our one of our new real estate agents. Congratulations, Anna! So, now what what is it? What's the training? What ha, what do you go through as far as training? well? The state of Oregon requires it's 150 hours of education. All of the training is done online, so you don't have to come in. You know, you do have to do some proctored exams. Um, so, like down, you could do that down at the county, uh, Klamath County Library. They'll watch you take the exam. Um, but other than that, it's just you know, it's just getting through the getting through the uh, studies. And again, it's a it's 150 hours, and they make sure it's 150 hours. So um, you go through contracts and law, and you know just different things like that on how to write contracts, how to you know what the real estate laws are in the state of Oregon. Um, they make it uh, they make it uh, you know it's some of it's dry material, but you know you get through it. And Oregon is one of the states that has the highest education required. Mm. Uh, prior to getting a real estate license. So what kind of a, a person would uh, would be, make a good realtor? You know, it, to be honest, there is no there is no one personality that fits. Uh, it's truly, you know, the biggest thing is, is somebody who wants to get out, um, come to work every day, um, get out, uh, be personable, go out and meet new people, um, work with their contacts that they currently have. That's probably the biggest thing is, most people don't realize most of your referrals in real estate comes from the people you know. Um, you know, that one person may not be buying a house, but they may know somebody that is buying a house. So if you do a good job and stay in contact with the people you know, um, you can be successful in real estate. All right. Well, find out more information just by getting a hold of Bill. You can stop by uh, at the location right right across from, uh, well, right next to the fairgrounds or across yep. from, like, big lots over in that yeah, area? Yeah, next to, uh, we are just east of the fairgrounds and right across the street from the big flag there um, at big lots. Um, it's 3815 South 6th Street, um, or you can call me at 541-884-1343. All right, thanks for coming in, Bill. Thanks. Bill Haskins with Coldwell Banker Holman Premier Realty.